And so begins the prisoner's captivity. He certainly captivated Keith Gould and Roger Goodman here, both founder members of the Prisoner Appreciation Society. Keith, can you tell me what it is about this series that, that so gets you? Yes, uh, we're now called Six of One, and uh, in the word Six of One, I think there lies uh, uh, quite a lot to do with the programme, because, of course, McGoon played number six, and he was con constantly searching for the answer to the question, who is number one? Um, what captivates me, and uh, I think a large number of the 1,600 or so members we have now have, is uh, the fact that McGowan is constantly striving to be an individual in a world, i.e. the village in which he's imprisoned, which is constantly trying to stamp out his ind individuality and to make him conform. Has it become an obsession with you, Roger? Uh, I'd like to think not, no, despite the fact that most of Six of One lives in my flat. Um, I do try to maintain a sense of proportion. You're uh, talking about most of Six of One, I'll introduce you yes, to. I haven't introduced yes, this. Yes, Would you like to tell us what it is? Yes. That's Rover, and uh, Rover in the series acted as a sort of, amongst many other things, a sort of guard dog who uh, tended to suffocate those people who were afraid of him and uh, who disobeyed the rules of the village. And uh, Roger has various other versions and thoughts on uh, the other kinds of things which Rover represented, as well as being purely a, a guard dog. Yeah, a lot of people see Rover as symbolizing something, in some cases fear, because it suffocates its victims. I see it as a personification of law, um, others as the collective social guilt. I mean, now, you see, it all sounds as though you regard the prisoner as something much more than just an ordinary bit of escapist drama. Oh, it is more than an ordinary bit of escapist drama. Well, uh, what is it, then? It's quite simply, as far as I'm concerned, the best television series ever, because it stretches the TV adventure series format to its farthest perimeter, and within that format explores far more ideas than any ordinary television series does. What do you all get up to at your various get-togethers and in your the, society? The, the general form which those take is uh, a convention. We've had two conventions now, one at Port Marion, where the series was filmed, and one more recently at Cheltenham, and they are essentially an exchange of news, views and thoughts about the whole series. And what, what, people, sort of, what sort of uh, people belong to it? A very wide cross-section, really. I think our youngest member is nine, our oldest is 69, and they do literally, to use that cliché, come from all walks of life. Okay. And, uh, you, you've, I see you've produced T-shirts and badges. Are you at all an eccentric lot? Oh, I, I would hope not. Um, there are some members who like to dress up in the pipe plays and like the prisoner, but we hope more people will take the ideas out in their minds mm. rather than physically. Well, you talk about uh, perpetuating the ideas of the prisoner. I mean, I, I'm, I'm never sure what the ideas are because it always seems so ambiguous to me. Is it clear in your mind what it's about? No, it, it's, it's not clear in anybody's mind, I don't think. Uh, one would be naive to think it is. Uh, in the magazines we produce and the conventions that we have where we show prisoner episodes courtesy of ITC Entertainment, we do discuss all the different implications that the series has. Yeah, it's fascinating. It always fascinates me. I mean, I'm a fan of the series, so you don't have to sell it to me, gentlemen, both. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. And tonight's episode of The Prisoner, called Funeral, can be...